Python is versatile programming language used for web development, making software, artificial intelligence and many, many other things. Today it's a very popular programming language with lots of job opportunities. Don't take my word for it. A quick research on Indeed shows that today the average Python developer's salary in the United States is nearly $121,000. Learning Python can really help your career take off. What's great about Python is that it's easy to learn and understand. And books are the fantastic way to do it. My name is Daniel and today we will talk about the top 3 books about Python that you must have to learn the language. Let's go! Python Crash Course – a hands-on project-based introduction to programming. Alright, I will start with a book that, in my opinion, one of the best books for Python beginners out there. If you are just planning to learn Python programming, this is the great place to start. It's one of the top choices for beginners, because it explains things clearly, covers all the important basics and gives you practical exercises to master what you learn. In this book you will learn about essential Python topics like different kinds of data, how to organize information, how to control your program, using functions, working with different piece of code, testing your code and much more. It's a perfect choice if you want to use Python to make real-world applications. The latest third version of the book has been updated to include the new things in Python programming, like a module for handling files called PathLib, a testing tool called PyTest, the features in MATLAB Lib, Plotly and Django framework. It even has a section on how to use a tool called VC Code. Just by looking at this table of content you see how well structured this book is. As you can see, it's split into two main parts. In the first part, you will learn how to write programs correctly and include them in a project. The second part is more exciting because it's all about using Python for practical things. You will work on three big projects. A game like Space Invaders, making cool graphics with Python and creating a simple website. Author Eric Matthews is an educator and programmer. He lives in Alaska and teaches high school math and science. This introductory book on Python is his first book and honestly I hope it's not the last. You might ask why this book is great. The book is cool for a couple of reasons. To start with, it begins by teaching you the basics of Python coding in the first part. Then, in the second part, you get to learn by working on real projects. So you start by understanding Python and then you reinforce what you have learned by actually doing some fun projects. Another thing that makes this book great is how it's structured. It's organized in a way that makes it easy to understand. For example, after you learn about things like data types, lists, dictionaries and conditional statements, in earlier chapters the book introduces a chapter on Python functions. This order makes a lot of sense and helps you learn better. And I didn't find anything like that in many other books or websites. Ok, and now it's time to move on to the next book. How to make the boring stuff with Python. Guys, before I continue, please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss my new content. I have to say, this is a great book for people who are moving from learning Python code to actually creating software. This book teaches you the basics of Python 3 and shows you how to use different tools to do things like getting information from websites, downloading stuff from the internet, sending emails and text messages, doing automatic clicking, typing and filling out forms online. Learning a new programming language can feel tough, especially when you have to read lots of theory and rules. This book is different because it starts with the basics of Python and then jumps into hands-on projects. I think it's a fun way to learn both for beginners and intermediate students. You get to make small programs quickly. That keeps you excited about learning. But if you already know Python and just want to learn how to automate things with it, this book works just as well. To give you a sneak peek of the enjoyable stuff you will find in automating the boring stuff with Python, here is a quick look at the table of contents. As you can see in this book you will learn about things like changing files, handling spreadsheets, collecting data from websites and controlling keyboards and mouse using GUI automation. There are also some cool projects like sending emails automatically, making special Excel files and building a tool to gather information from the web. Author I. Swigard is a software development expert who helps people of all ages learn how to program. He is known for writing popular books that make it easy for beginners to get started with coding. However, he is quite experienced at writing books for advanced learners as well. 
Why did I like this book? If you are a kind of person who likes learning by actually doing things, then this book is perfect for you. This book is fantastic, because it will make you really understand Python programming and teach you how to do all sorts of different things with it. Here is something else that's cool about it. The author has made an online class on Udemy with the same name. How to make the boring stuff with Python programming. So, if you like learning by listening and doing, you can take the course while reading this book. I added a link to this course in the description down below. Feel free to check it out. Thanks. Alright, and now, last but not least. Python Cookbook. I want to say right away, this book is for experienced programmers, who want to discover the latest tools for Python. In the book, the authors provide step-by-step -step guides for things like data structures, how objects work, handling data, and special programming techniques. Each guide comes with example code you can use in your own projects, and they explain how the code works. And if you want to write programming in Python 3, this book is a great choice. What sets this book apart is how much information it provides. Most code cookbooks are usually quick guides that shows you smart way to do common tasks. But in this book every recipe not only gives you a detailed code solution, but also includes a discussion by the author about specific parts of the solution. This book has 15 chapters, and each chapter has a different number of recipes. You might be amazed by how much detail each recipe has. For example, there is one about working with binary, octal, and hexadecimal integers. Authors. David Beasley is a software developer and writer who lives in Chicago. He spends most of his time making tools for programmers, making custom software and teaching programming to other software developers, scientists and engineers. In other words, he is pretty famous for his work with Python. Brian K. Jones works as a system administrator at the Princeton University in the computer science department. It's always great to read from authors you can trust, and the authors of this book are definitely reliable. Why did I like this book? This book is probably one of the most liked and highly rated books on Python. It's really great because it helps you solve real problems with Python and teaches you how to write code. It covers all the important things in all of details, like data stuff, how you deal with information, classes, objects, doing many things at once and more. Because it covers both the basics and things that are special to Python, a lot of people say it's perfect if you are already a coder in another language and want to learn Python. I want to warn you. This book is really huge, with more than 700 pages, and it's packed with awesome examples, drawings and pictures. So here are the three Python books I suggest you read and they are gonna be useful at every stage of your journey to becoming skilled in Python. I left all the links in the description. Check them out and pick the best one according to your level of Python proficiency. Let me know what is your favorite book on Python. As always, like, subscribe and hit that magic bell. Thanks for watching and till next time.